When I was at the Marshall Space Flight Center uh, as an intern, uh, when I was an undergrad, uh, we had an opportunity to help out there at the U.S. Uh, space and Rocket Center uh, and, and Space Camp. And uh, I was able to uh, teach some classes on uh, the space shuttle and the orbiter, uh, not for kids, but really for uh, elementary and middle school teachers who were coming down to get the education to bring back to their classrooms. I went to college at a real small liberal arts school called Albion College, and uh, there I got a fundamental, solid education in physics and math, but also the foundation in, in a spectrum of other disciplines, including economics and arts and humanities. Um, and it was there that I got my first taste of collaborative learning and peer mentorship and and exploration, really. After Albion, I went to University of Rochester, uh, again, to continue this, this idea of exploration. And I was uh, a PhD student in high energy physics and was part of an incredible team there, had a, uh, had a superb mentor and uh, advisor. And we were part of a, an experiment with 500 scientists uh, from about 40 universities in 10, 10 countries. And we were at the cutting edge of, of high energy physics. And, it was, uh, it was a really exciting time uh, to be there and to be uh, making the discoveries. And after the University of Rochester, I went into the Navy and became a test pilot. You know, it is, uh, it's tough to pick any one thing. Uh, we have gotten to do things like the National Outdoor Leadership course uh, for a week and a half, um, getting in the pool, the neutral buoyancy lab, and uh, training for spacewalks. Um, we're getting into robotics. Uh, we fly a lot. Um, it, is, it is really tough to pick any one thing. Um, I'm surprised at how much I ended up enjoying learning Russian. Um, that is nothing I could have made an excuse to do, and uh, it is just, uh, it's an incredible experience and, and very diverse uh, in terms of the way we spend our time. Um, but for me, I think the, the most interesting thing has been we've got so many different personalities and backgrounds in the group, and it's really neat to, to merge those those strengths and get to a position where we need to be, which is to be ready uh, as a group for the next generation of, of space exploration. You've got a variety of tools to use and most importantly you have problem solving skill set, um, something I call intellectual courage. You may not have the background or the expertise in a, in a specific topic, but you do have the courage and, and know how to tackle that problem and, and tackle something that maybe at the outset seems insurmountable and it quickly becomes something that we can handle or even thrive in. Well that's what makes it fun, right? The hard stuff is, uh, is the fun stuff. It, uh, it's hard for a reason and uh, for me I, I just so genuinely enjoy uh, the, the EVA training, the spacewalk training um, and it's physically demanding. Um, I've, you find out very quickly that uh, you don't have the forearm strength that you thought you did um, and it's just, uh, it's in a really uh, incredible experience that pushes you both physically and mentally. And uh, it's, uh, it's quite rewarding. Nobody could do this on their own. And, uh, and it's just really phenomenal what we can do together as a team. Um, in terms of exploration, uh, you know, there's no telling what we're gonna learn. Um, and that's the reason we do exploration. 